Many Magic the Gathering players asked the question, is it worth it to buy Jumpstart 2022, the newest Magic the Gathering Jumpstart product? Not to be confused with Jumpstart Brothers War, which released two weeks ago, or Jumpstart Dominaria United, which released 12 weeks ago. Jumpstart 2022 is a Jumpstart product that actually tries to be a Jumpstart product and not just repackaged theme boosters. The original Jumpstart was conceived of as a way to help new players jumpstart their Magic the Gathering experience, but it soon became so much more. In fact, I felt it was not only one of the best products of 2020, but possibly one of the best overall products ever made packed with high-end reprints, brand new card designs for everything from Commander to even Legacy, and above all that, just a fun, innovative way to play, actually play, Magic the Gathering. Yes, the original Jumpstart was truly a product for everyone, but after two disappointing duds released with the Jumpstart name in just the last several weeks, is Jumpstart 2022 the true successor to the original, a product designed with skill and care to accomplish all that the original did? As I said, the original was one of my favorite products ever, and it's still available at the exact same price. So I want to take a very, very scrutinous look at this one. But first, a quick word about this video. This video is brought to you by Helix Sleep. If you don't know, Helix Sleep is a premium mattress provider that ships right to your door and is widely renowned for their beddings, pillows, and attention to detail of what your body requires when it's time to rest. It's been about half a year since I last talked about Helix, and they reached out to see how I was enjoying my Helix Dusk Lux mattress. In short, I surprisingly really love this mattress. Before Helix, my old mattress would be very difficult for me to find that little nook we all like when trying to fall asleep and stay in our REM sleep. Now, with Helix, I find the fine folks really listened and delivered the perfect mattress right to my door, and all with the help of their sleep quiz I took before anything ever was arranged. And when I say Helix listened, I mean it really feels like they took time with my sleep test to deliver to me exactly what my body needed in a mattress. Our old mattress was too one-sided, kind of a one-trick pony, if you will, but Helix takes mattress technology to a whole new level. Where Helix shines is how their mattresses can satisfy you and your partner comfortably. It's very versatile, and I find my wife and I are having a better night's sleep more consistently. It's funny because my staff was also really curious about the quality of sleep that I got from the mattress, and I was happy to report to them it's great, and I could lay their worries and yours to rest. I love my Helix, and I think you will too. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com forward slash Tolarian for up to $200 off your Helix sleep mattress plus two free pillows. So greatly improve your sleep with the Helix Sleep Mattress. Take the 100-night sleep trial along with the 10-year warranty, and Helix can help you with a payment plan so you don't have to stress over a better night's sleep. If you're like me and didn't know that you could be sleeping better, I'm telling you, you can sleep better. If you're looking for a new bed, check out Helix. Click on the link below or go to helixsleep.com forward slash Tolarian. It's no risk. 100 trial days, they deliver right to your door. And if you're unsatisfied, send it back. Thank you, Helix Sleep, for sponsoring this video. Jumpstart is a Magic the Gathering product meant to be played right out of the box, or right out of the pack, I should say. Within each booster is a half deck, defined by a themed collection of cards. The themes vary, with some rarer than others, and you might very well open up a half deck of knights and a half deck of boneyard, a half deck of goblins, or a half deck of gigantic. And so you and a friend just grab two packs, and suddenly you're playing a supposedly perfectly balanced game, with you on goblins go to school, and your friend on Eldrazi treasure. There's so many possible combinations here. In total, there are 46 themes, and these are represented as common themes, appearing four times in different variations among every 121 packs, rare themes with a double rate of recursion, and mythic themes like rats or unlucky 13, which will appear only one in every 121 packs. To play, each player takes two booster packs of Jumpstart at random, opens 
opens them, sleeves them, and then shuffles them together to form a deck. You don't even need to worry about having lands as the packs come with enough to play with. That right by itself is such a great selling point in a game that has often become convoluted with requirements in order to play. Here, you just grab two packs, your friend does the same, crack them open, and then shuffle up and play. No relation. But there's a lot more depth to jumpstart than that. The cards within these half decks have a lot of value after you and your friend get your games in. There's original card designs that are legal in Commander and Legacy. In fact, there's a lot of awesome new toys for both formats here, not to mention a bevy of reprints from throughout Magic's history. New artworks, new art styles, all in all meaning that Jumpstart 2022 is anything but disposable. Now, I'm going to cover the financial value that this creates in Jumpstart start 2022 in just a moment, but before that, I need to cover something even more important than whether these packs are worth the price that's being asked of them. Oh yes, there is something more important than financial value in an is it worth it to buy video, and that thing is the gameplay itself. Jumpstart 2022 is a game, and so I just want to ask the question, is it fun to play Magic the Gathering this way? Now, Jumpstart Brothers War and Jumpstart Dominaria United absolutely blew chunks, and so the answer to that was no. But Jumpstart 2022? Yeah, this is actually fun, with wild gameplay created by the combination of classic reprints and new card designs. Not to mention how many themes there are and the wide variety of combinations that you can get when you combine those themes. There is such a slurry of watered-down, lackluster products these days. From the inexpensive explicably continuing Game Night box set to the uninspired jumpstart packs of Brothers War and Dominaria United to sadly even things like the new Commander Starter decks that I covered just a few days ago. And yeah, while many of those got passing B and C grades and do have some value in them, the gameplay they ultimately create is nothing spectacular. Make cheap magic products, get cheap watered down slow and non-thought intensive ways to play Magic the Gathering. Dull, sloggy gameplay is not really the best way to lure in new players, is it? I mean, no one is forming incredible gameplay memories from the fourth time they played with those Game Night decks. I challenge you right now, people in the audience watching this video, how many of you bought Game Night and have gotten four games or more in with those decks unaltered? And how fun was it? But my goodness, when Jumpstart is done right, does it ever pack a wallop? Every game is different, and the cards are actually powerful, which explains why so many are relevant in Eternal formats. And I can't tell you what an energetic and joyful experience walking away from a game of Demon Detectives versus Urza's Fairies creates. <laughs> I love it. It even got me thinking about what kind of half decks I would want to create. Is it weird that they aren't even putting this on Arena this time? What a great, fun way to play that would be. Not to mention the community involvement that could come from soliciting pitches for community-created half decks that could then be spotlighted on the digital client. Really bizarre they're not doing that. In fact, I love playing Jumpstart 2022 so much, I decided to just make it a permanent thing that I could do anytime without having to buy more packs. Jumpstart can easily be replayed indefinitely with no expiration date. I simply buy a booster box, open each pack, sleeve my cards up, and then place them in some form of resealable pack. Now a much more common thing than two years ago, where we not only have everything from Potamajigs to Dragon Shields offering them, but even companies like Ultra Pro throwing in their ideas to the mix. Or, you know, you can just use an envelope, that's fine too. But if you just save the half decks in resealable packs, you can now play Jumpstart forever this way. Just remember to break your deck back into two half decks after each game. Heck, the original Jumpstart is still selling for about the same price as Jumpstart 2022. Isn't that cool what happens when you print enough product to go around? How the price stays reasonable? How we all have affordability and access? How my blood pressure goes down? How my friends start saying to me, Wow, Professor, you look happy. What is it? A new Jumpstart set? And I say yes! I mean, come on, it's the holidays. Treat yourself to a box of the original Jumpstart, as well as a box of Jumpstart 2022, and mix and match the decks. Jumpstart is an amazing product, not just because of its financial value, I'm almost there, bear with me just one moment more, but because it really encourages people to play magic. God, I am so honestly sick of either empty packs with weak cards 
cards are collectible products, with collectability being the driving point beyond just playing the game. This really is such a great game, and this right here is such a great product because it entices you to play that great game, and then second to that, as a wonderful bonus, it gives you awesome cards to walk away with for other formats, but it's so much fun that you might find yourself being torn between stripping your half decks for parts and just keeping it all together to play it forever. Gameplay by itself is excellent, as everything in Magic should be. But how much value is there in these, really? Even if it is not great, I wanna say the gameplay of this product makes it worth it just for that experience, but something interesting happens when we look at the actual financial value. Jumpstart contains no foil cards, which these days is actually a positive rather than a negative. But what it does contain is a combination of needed reprints and original brand new card designs that many Magic the Gathering players are chasing after. There are currently 31 rares and mythics out of a total 151 worth $4 or more. Compare that to the original Jumpstart that had 46 rares and mythics out of a total 104 worth $4 or more. Now, unlike the original Jumpstart, Jumpstart 2022 does not feature rare artwork on basic lands, something that at the time helped boost pack value greatly. But instead, this time what is being offered is anime stylistic artwork variations of cards. Now, I am not going to say how much I hate this, how much this continues to erode Magic's core identity, how the fact that we have found ourselves in an era where Transformers cards come in set booster packs and sexy white Fu magic art comes in jumpstart packs. I'm not getting into that. I am bigger than that. You are bigger than that, Professor. The top three cards of value in Jumpstart 2022 are Ristic Study, a reprint at $34.99, Ashcoat at $29.99, and Balan Wandering Knight at $27.55. Compare that to the top three cards of the original Jumpstart, which were Allosaurus Shepherd, which at the time was selling for $64.58. Sense, Tiny Bones over 50 bucks, and Brovac still above what Ristic Study is selling for today. But there's a ton more cards at or around the $20 level. Lita, Mechanical Engineer, Kaibu Utabi Prince, Tree of Perdition, Isu the Abominable, even Modern Masters headliners of the past like Karn Liberated. So just because you're not getting an Allosaurus Rider effect here doesn't mean these aren't packed with value. And there's even a ton in the way of uncommons with value. Exsanguinate being a $4.75 card that prior to this reprint was approaching nine bucks a pop. Cold Steel Waifu Heart, another $5 uncommon. Stitcher Supplier, Mirror Image, Phyrexian Reclamation, all incredibly welcome and great ways to boost up the value of your packs. And there's even a bevy of cards in the $2 to $4 level, cards that see play in other formats, cards like Blood Artist and Mero Regery, all of which keeps uncommons from being worthless here. There's a lot of cool stuff. And all in all, at launch, there's 57 cards worth $4 or more. Once you lump in all those cards worth above a dollar, including uncommons, you're up to just under 100, meaning that while the top end value of Jumpstart 2022 is indeed notably lower than original Jumpstart held at its release, it's far from terrible. Cracking open two $4 booster packs of Jumpstart to get in a game means you've got a great chance at breaking even or at least coming close. And even if you don't, what you will likely have in your hands are a bunch of cards that can be used in a variety of other decks, traded, or just kept as half decks for future game play. Mm, that is, if booster packs were selling for $4 each, which they are not. Well, they kind of are, it depends how you buy it. If you buy a complete booster box, there is a big difference in price getting them all in bulk than there is buying them loose or over the counter. Online marketplaces currently have booster packs of Jumpstart 2022 listed individually for about $6.40 each, while a complete booster box is, wow, $99.99 each? That's a great price, because it means that the per pack price is, yep, you guessed it, $4.10. Fantastic. Simply fantastic. Now, Card Kingdom, sponsor of this channel, is selling Jumpstart 2022 booster boxes for a bit above that marketplace average at $106. Though, interestingly, they'll cut you a bulk buy bargain on individual packs at $4.49 each. Hey, it's always good to shop around. And when you do, you can use my affiliate code www.cardkingdom.com forward slash TCC to check out their online catalog of products and accessories. Even 
even if they're a couple of bucks more for some products like Jumpstart 2022 here, there's a lot from accessories to singles that you can peruse, and there's still always great deals to be had. Obviously, spend your money where it spends best, and always, always start at your local game store, but if you are going to go online, you can use my affiliate code to check out Card Kingdom pricing and help the channel out while you do. But wherever you shop for Jumpstart 2022, and however you choose to play it, know that even though sequels may struggle to live up to the genius of the original, they oftentimes are still a great experience in their own right, and Jumpstart 2022 is one of those. And if you don't like it, you can still buy the original at more or less the same price. Imagine if every product Wizards of the Coast put out strove to be the absolute best it could be. Final conclusion? Jumpstart 2022 is the true Jumpstart product of the year. It is immensely fun to play. It is priced accessibly, and it is relevant to new players, to returning players, to casual players, and to experienced players alike. It offers complex and exciting gameplay, valuable reprints, and relevant new card designs for eternal formats. Best of all, it encourages you to just shuffle up and play without needing anything other than two booster packs, which, if you buy in bulk, are very very affordably priced. While it doesn't have the high financial value of the original, there is great financial value here still, and I still give this product an enthusiastic A. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out greatly by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a comment. Do you like Jumpstart 2022? What did they get right and or wrong in your opinion? Let me know in the comments below. Hey, and once again, big thanks to Helix Sleep for improving the quality of my sleep in ways I didn't know I needed. If you want the same convenience and quality I received, head on over to my link below or go to helixsleep.com forward slash Tolarian to get started on a better night's sleep today. time on Shuffle Up and Play. Welcome to Shuffle Up and Play. Today it's Commander with decks we love. And I brought my mom's deck. That we think are fair. Do you pay as you? <laughs> oh, I'm already sick of it. Let's see how you feel when you go up against it. Everybody please pass your deck to the right. <gasps> what? No! Wait, yeah. what? But I like this one! <laughs> yeah. So. Gipperge. I would say that about half of these cards are in English, by the way. You see, Voxy, you make a target of yourself. What did because I do? You cast Luminarch Ascension I and you started two. ascending. One, one soldier creature token. I sacrifice a zero one to kill it. Have you been playing with one more mana recently? The Petty is off the charts Petty. and I love it. <laughs>